Defensive expats. It's something that seems to be getting talked about lately, but funny enough, I've been on this, not crusade, but pushing this to the surface for a long period of time because it's like the legacy scandal. All the stuff related to the legacy scandal and expats, can you find it online? No, it's disappeared. There is always stuff going on online revolving around expats doing something or whatever, and it's basically removed. It's hidden, it's destroyed, deleted, whatever it is, it's gone. Um, but then you have the other side of it where people don't want to talk about the negativity of the Philippines. The negativity is the checklist. Negativity is like, okay, jeepneys, I may get robbed. How do I prevent that happening? The negativity is actually going, okay, if we do get married, what could go wrong? For me, it's called risk analysis, risk management. It is how corporations work. Here's a big surprise. This is how businesses work. They do a analysis on risks. Everything is a risk analysis, a risk management, because in the business world, this is how you value businesses. Because let's be honest here. This is the funny bit, right? Businesses will tell you, being one of the sheep, um, don't be negative. Don't be negative. You know, yeah, but it's not working. Don't be negative, right? That's how businesses operate. Next level up, do risk analysis. Risk analysis is looking at all those risks that you're saying that's not working or this, that, and then you've got your manager going, don't be negative. Uh, but his boss above him is doing a risk analysis on all this stuff to see how it affects the business. <laughs> it's a it's a joke. So the realities are there's risk analysis going on all the time. You know, like um, even in the political circus, they have a big story to go through and then they're burying all the other stuff that they want to release and it's got to go into the public but what happens is they slip it in there because this big story buries it all. So even in the political arena, they still have all this negative stuff. It's just buried. They do it on purpose. So don't assume the world's changed and like people aren't negative. It's utter lies. It's just how it's manipulated. It's orchestrated. It's, it's still there. But what you find in the Philippines, you get a lot of expats go, everything's great. Everything's fantastic. Until something goes really wrong. And do you know what happens with those expats? That's it. You don't hear a thing because they normally disappear. Um, I've got friends that moved from the Philippines to P Panama and other places because the polish went off the Philippines. They had issues with health. They had issues with family. They had issues with business. They had other... And when I say issues for business, the business was viable. It's just the corruption was so bad that they just thought, I'd rather burn it all and just leave this country. I hate it. Some people end up in those scenarios. But the problem you get online is you don't really talk about this stuff. People don't bring this forward and say, look, this is what happened to me. Just want you to know. Don't care how you think about it. I'm just saying this is what happened, blah, blah, blah. I'm walking away. Could be good if people did do that, you know. If they turn around and says, my life was a living hell because of X, Y, Z. And you might be able to go, oh, yeah, but you're a violent drunk or something. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But you could get an analysis. You could actually understand what actually got them to that uh, scenario in the first place. Or it could be the fact that they were ripped off left, right, and center. Um, happens a lot in the Philippines. Or it could be that they're living a happy life and they don't really talk online because they've got better things to do. So they, there's all sorts that go on. But what, it, what concerns me is the ones that get defensive. Expats that get defensive on people actually saying things like, 
what actually happens, what goes on. Um, an example of that you know, would be me saying that a German guy was in Cebu that was engaging in sexual liaisons with boys that was giving them AIDS. Um, he was highlighted by the German government before he arrived in the Philippines because obviously they can't stop him traveling. Um, but then there has to be a case made relating to what he's doing so they can get rid of him. Those sort of things go on in the Philippines all the time. Now, on the everything's great side, nobody even discussed that topic. Not at all. Um, they want to talk about some very trivial stuff. Um, and it's, it's okay, but the problem is then they'll try and run some other people down because they don't like people saying, oh, xyz but a lot of people are saying xyz because they're not covered in other areas of the internet and i know myself from when i went to the philippines 2007 a lot of the information was just junk on the internet at the time it was out of date it was lies etc etc i mean this is why i say people if you want the boracay beaches then go to boracay google search Boracay beaches, YouTube search Boracay beaches, because they'll all be, it's awesome, you know, because they're tourists. People living in the country are very, very different because they have a different perspective because they live there. Um, this is why this information is often very, very important because what happens is people will actually say, internet is pants, business connections are good but expensive, etc., etc. Because these are the bits and pieces you want to know. These are the bits you want to know when you move there. When everyone says everything's great, you think, oh, I'm on a winner here. You get there, and it looks post-apocalypse, you know, in, in some areas. And you're thinking, what have I just done? I've just committed to this. But the problem you've got is some of these defensive expats live in a bubble. They don't want to admit this is wrong, this isn't right. They're just like, it's another country, it's another because they're new, they're fresh, etc. Over a period of time, it loses that loving gleam of happiness and is not so well polished. But they won't go online and say, I was wrong, I shouldn't have attacked this guy because of X, Y, Z. Um, but instead, they will just not say a thing. And it's very, very common. A lot of these guys even leave the country. I would say in 2007 to now, I would say 80% of the expats aren't even there now. That's no joke. <laughs> yeah, not many of them are still around. And some have had kids, some have died, some have had a lot of problems with wives, etc. But around 80% don't exist anymore in the Philippines. Thanks for watching. Yeah.